If you are down or upset about the election results, here's a little distraction. So let's take our focus outside of the US just for now and over to Paris, France, one of my favorite cities in this entire world. Because in the world of travel, as of right now, there is Duco France happening. So Duco France is an annual boutique travel summit between the best suppliers, hotels, and experiences in France for luxury travel and the buyers who are travel agents. I unfortunately did not go to Duco France, but I will be hopefully going to Duco Italy. And the founder of Duco is Carolina Perez. She is fabulous and also known as the hotel queen on Instagram and features some of the best hotels in the world. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you day by day in this four day luxury travel summit in Paris, France. So on day number one, November 4th, they did a registration press meet and greet at Le Bristol Paris. The Bristol Hotel is a five-star luxury hotel located in the iconic Rue du Faubourg Saint-Honoré neighborhood of Paris with stunning views, modern luxury with an authentic timeless feel. This hotel also features a three Michelin star restaurant called the Epicure that has been a Michelin star for the last 10 years with one of its favorite dishes being the bladder chicken. After everyone was checked in, they had the opening ceremony at the Peninsula Paris. The Peninsula Paris is located in the 16th arrondissement and is of course a five-star luxury hotel that features a lavish spa and a 22 meter long indoor pool in Paris. And of course, it's a rooftop panoramic restaurant called Louis Leblanc. Okay, moving on to day number two. They had the first day of appointments at Hotel Potocki. Hotel Potocki is a historic mansion built in the 19th century, located in the 8th arrondissement in Paris. As this building was built for the Polish Count Potocki by architect Zul Rubul. And as a historical monument, this building has been the headquarters of Paris Ile de France Chamber of Commerce since 1923. Features one of the most grand staircases I have ever seen of the 17th century Flemish tapestries. Like, this is stunning. So what do they do here during these appointments? Well, it's like speed dating, but with your business. So there are buyers and they are sellers. A buyer would be someone like myself who is a travel agent and part of a travel agency. And a seller would be someone who is offering services, a hotel, an experience that they can offer in France. I would be considered a buyer because I am buying their experience for my client. The day is just filled with all these appointments, roughly ranging from 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even less, maybe even more, depending if you like the person you're speaking with. And I believe they're mostly random, so you don't know who you'll be speaking with. It gives a great opportunity to network. After their morning meetings, they had lunch at various locations. Brassier Fouquet Paris, which is very famous for celebrities, with this classic French cuisine and elegant ambiance. La Reserve Paris, which is a beautiful, elegant hotel featuring 40 rooms and suites. Located near the Champs Elysees, this 19th century mansion also features a beautiful library and its two Michelin star restaurants, Le Gabriel. Next location was Les Santis Travon Paris. This restaurant is part of the Travon Group, which is a very prestigious group of restaurants. With its very unique concept of offering 110 bottles of wine by the glass with the French cuisine. With the menu featuring some French classics like pâté en croûte, which is like a meat paste and pastry dough around. And their last location for lunch was Prince de Gaulle Paris. This beautiful hotel is featured in the Golden Triangle at Paris. Opened in 1928, it features a very lively art deco theme. And its restaurant Akira Black features a beautiful mix of Japanese and Korean cuisine. It offers a more slightly modern contemporary theme. Now moving on to day numero 3. So this is the second day of appointments at Hotel Potoski again. Same concept as the first day. They do a lot of meetings, rounds of meeting and networking at this beautiful historic mansion. But they switch it up a little bit for lunch. First location is Hotel de Crillon. As part of the Rosewood Hotel collection, this hotel is a very historic and very luxurious building and features some of the most beautiful rooms you will ever see in your entire life. In that hotel is also the Michelin star rated restaurant, Le Crillon. A very beautiful intimate setting, perfect for a date night. They also have a beautiful tea room lounge, Jardin de Rivière, which is the winter garden where you can enjoy an afternoon tea. But this hotel is so stunning. Rosewood hotels are, just take your breath away. There's something about them. And we're back at Le Bristol Paris featuring Epicure, which is the three Michelin star restaurants and where they did the meet and greet for check-in. And we're also back with Les 110 de Torvon Paris, which features the 110 bottles of wine by glass. Incredible. And they also mentioned the bar avant Willis Home. I think 
That is the people who are providing all the wine, um, but I'm not entirely sure. And finally, we are on day four, which is the last full day of events, which is today, November 7th. Thank you for being here. Once again, we have the third day of appointments at Holte Potolski, which is literally just more meetings with more people. And it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in, a lot to observe, a lot of notebooking and business cards. Let's move on to the important stuff, lunch. They are having lunch at Group Cartran Restaurants in Bar City. So this is a French hospitality company that has a, a very bespoke line of restaurants and brasseries all throughout Paris. Such as La Coupelle, which is very famous for its art deco and vibrant atmosphere, and Montparnasse. Le Procope, which is one of the oldest cafes in Paris, dating back to 1686. Au Pied de Cochon, which is very famous for its pork specialty. Brasserie Libre, which is located in saint germain des prés And this is a very classic French place um, where I feel like a lot of intellectual and interesting people go. Then we have Bonfangé, which is in Bastille. And this is very famous for its French cuisine that is, correct me if I'm wrong if I say it, Azantian. As, as, as sound, I'm still practicing. Which is the cuisine from the Alsace area region of France. Here's France as a whole, there's Paris and it's closer to the border. It's a mix between like German food and French food and features a lot of pork. We also have Le Grand Café Capucine as part of this group, which is a very famous seafood restaurant. The beautiful Termini Sur Nord. Le Alsace, which features more of that regional cuisine. And the ever so elegant Vudiville. So all of those establishments I mentioned are underneath the Group Partenant Restaurants and Basseries. I'm not sure which ones they're going to because it's happening right now as we speak, but they are dedicated to preserving the French culinary cuisine. And last but not least, they're doing the Monaco closing party at Saint-Maritain, Paris. La Sommitaine is obviously one of the most luxurious, famous department stores in Paris in the first arrondissement. The restoration was led by LVMH Group and features some of the most luxurious brands known to man. And they have their closing party there. This was in 2023 with the DJ, some music entertainment, like the classiest event you can ever attend. So who wants to go to Paris?